This location on Oahu offers a blend of small town charm, natural beauty, and convenient access to both urban and natural attractions. One thing that may not be on a visitor's list seems to have been around for decades. On this episode of Hawaii's Most Haunted, we'll talk about the Green Lady of Wahiawa. Beyond the cool waters and trade winds of our idealistic paradise is the thin veil that separates our world from the place where the shadows talk back. Welcome to Hawaii's Most Haunted. In 1957, a story spreads like wildfire in the small town of Wahiawa that had the townspeople wondering whether it was fact or fiction, or a little of both. According to the news report, a frightening figure was seen by at least six children from Wahiawa Elementary School. They described the creature as having seaweed hair, duck feet, scaly skin, and claw-like hands. The strange creature had been seen on several occasions in the Wahiawa Gulch behind the school gymnasium. The students were questioned and five of them maintained the same description of the scary creature, while a sixth student was convinced that it was someone dressed up in a costume in an attempt to scare the younger kids. The townsfolk of Wahiawa were so concerned that a search party was organized by the Wahiawa Chamber of Commerce. Volunteers combed the gulch but could not find anything that resembled what the students described. One story says that she lost her children and is forever in search of them. Another says that there was a great flood and the woman tried to save her infant, but they both perished. The baby being torn from her arms. So she's been searching for her infant ever since. However, Kupuna have shared that even before 1957, when they were just children, stories of a mo'owahine were common in the Wahiawa Gulch and surrounding areas. Don't go down to the gulch, the parents would warn them. One Kupuna shared that every few years, the pair of mo'owahine, Kanoi and Lelehua, would come down from Mount Ka'ala. Their hale is in Lake Wilson and Kukani Loko. Every few years, they must come down and take one young man as mohai, as sacrifice. And every few years, there is a story about the death of a young male soldier. He is found at the bottom of Lake Wilson, fully dressed, shoes on, wallet and keys in his pockets, sitting, cross-legged, as if he were patiently waiting for something or someone. 